Well, major news being released today from the Hillsong Church Board regarding Brian Houston. That's right. I mean, you would think that with the guy already announcing that he was stepping down in his role as the global senior pastor for all of 2022 as he deals uh, with a court case where he is allegedly covered up his father's misdeeds dating back to the 1970s. Now we have the Hillsong Church Board revealing other information about Brian Houston. This is not good at all. And it's another, in my opinion, uh, just another nail in the, you know, well, it's it's over for Hillsong. Let's just put it that way. We'll get into all the details. Stick with me, guys. First, though, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. So what happened here? I mean, this came out of nowhere. The board comes out and releases a statement on Brian Houston. They say that they have been monitoring a couple of incidents, really, that go back about a decade ago. And the one that they were really focusing on, this is what they just announced today, was that back in 2019, this was during Hillsong's annual conference that took place in New South Wales, Brian Houston went into a woman's hotel room at the event, who was not his wife, Bobby, and he was drunk. That's right. Reportedly in her hotel room for 40 minutes, according to the board and what they had to say with this. Now, what led to this? Well, reportedly, Houston had been drinking with others in a group uh, down there at the hotel, possibly in like a restaurant area or bar area. Got himself drunk. Not only that, but he had overdosed himself on anti-anxiety medication. So he's all doped up on the pills. He had been taking alcohol, got himself drunk, reportedly then had gone up to his room, but did not have his key with him. How convenient. It was then that he apparently had knocked on a random door somewhere up there on the floor where his hotel room was and a woman had answered the door. Let him in. Now, they're not revealing the name of this woman or anything like that. But he reportedly spent 40 minutes inside this woman's hotel room. Now, the woman is claiming that there was, you know, nothing of the uh, dirty, dirty that went on during this 40 minute period. Although some are saying that's not exactly true. Brian Houston himself has denied that any sort of dirty deeds were conducted during his time in that hotel room as well. But the board had said that they had addressed this issue with Houston privately, but they had not released the information until just now, three years later. Well, why is that? Because Houston has already stepped down now because he's got the case going on with his dad and the cover-up allegations and everything. How convenient that they now release this information. And you know what? I find it funny that it happened in 2019 because that's when everything was going on with Carl Lentz, the former pastor of Hillsong over in New York City, and all of the dirty, dirty that was going on with Lentz and Hillsong NYC. I mean, you had Houston come out and call Lentz a narcissist and talked about his affairs. It was with more than just one woman. I mean, I covered all of these stories when they first came out, but... This wasn't it when it came to Houston. There was another issue that took place with him that goes back a decade ago. And I will get into that one in just a second. But first, guys, let me remind you, if you are able to make a generous donation here to my ministry to help support what I do, I would greatly appreciate that. I am demonetized here on YT. They don't support me in any way. But if you guys enjoy my daily content here, talking about end time Bible prophecy headlines, and you would like to help support, you guys can do that over on PayPal. The link is down below. Or you can sign up on Patreon. When you do that, you get access to my bonus content. I also include the links of the YT videos there so you get all the alerts when new content arrives because you're not going to be alerted every time the new content comes out. It's just the way it goes now with YT. But you can leave your comments there 100% censorship free. You could do it behind the paywall. You could say whatever you want there. Send me direct messages. Also, don't forget, I am on Rumble. All these videos go up there. That's my backup in case I get booted out of YT. But you want to check me out there. So just make sure you go sub to me there. So that way you guys are always able to follow me in case anything happens here. Uh, a big thank you 
to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. So what was the other issue that took place? According to the board, it was 10 years ago. Houston, also under the influence at the time. This time it was sleeping medication. He had sent several text messages to a church staffer, another female. And well, according to Phil Dooley, who is now the interim global senior pastor of Hillsong, as Houston is uh, off this year dealing with all of his other problems, they held about a, well, they held a meeting with 800 other Hillsong pastors and other leaders across all the Hillsong churches over the world to address what the board had just put out today. But Dooley had told everybody this, that basically what the text messages said that Houston had wrote was that if he were with this woman, if I could be with you, I would be kissing you and I would be cuddling you and all of that. This is this is what he said to this woman here. Now, Dooley said that was, that that's as far as it went. Now, again, this according to him and the report that the board is letting us know at this time. Again, messing around, doing this kind of stuff to his wife, all the while came out every single time there was some sort of a dirty dirty that came out about another Hillsong pastor and he condemned them and he called them narcissists and something like that. All the while, the same type of behavior was coming from Houston all along. You see, ladies and gentlemen, it always starts at the top. I have been talking about this. I mean, I probably sound like a broken record at this point, but there's just more information just keeps coming out. God is revealing all of it. It's all being exposed. The unveiling is occurring. It happens at the top and then it trickles down the rest of the way. They follow who the leader is. That's who the example is. If they look and see, well, this is how Houston's behaving. So I can do the same thing. I can take advantage of my position being as a part of Hillsong, huge mega church operation, making all kinds of money. I can live a celebrity lifestyle type of thing. And then bam, there you go. I could treat women however I want to. Can have the nice houses, the fancy cars, the shoes, the watches, all of that stuff. And that's what they did. I talked about tons of these pastors before in the past. I don't need to get into all of it. The board also said that they worked with Houston on overcoming his addictions to these pills and also alcohol. But again, you're going back a decade. You're going back to like 2012, around this time when he sent these text messages. But then seven years later in 2019, he's getting himself drunk at their annual conference. And he's taking anti-anxiety medication and spending time in a woman's hotel room who's not his own wife. I mean, it's just... (laughs) It's getting to a point now where it's like, what's next? You know, judgment, we always said, we know it starts in the house of God. I mean, these pulpits are going to be cleared out. I mean, God is truly removing people. And I don't know Phil Dooley. I don't know as far as if he will make any sort of a suitable replacement or not. He's just interim right now. But uh, this is just disheartening for the church itself. Uh, It's the culture, ladies and gentlemen. It's the culture of these churches and how they have just become a breeding ground. For these types of pastors to do these nefarious, dirty deeds, they think they can get away with it. You know, they they do this stuff behind the scenes. And you know what? The the board knew of this stuff then. This should have been out three years ago. Should have been out 10 years ago when he was first doing the stuff with the text messages. But no, now they decide after, you know, their investigations have apparently all been done and completed. Now, after all this time, it took all that time for all this to come out. I don't know. I don't, you know, like the board, you know, I don't even trust them. So many of them were probably protecting Houston as well. So, you know, that's just what this is. They know he's out of the picture now. Why not just bring all these revelations out? And now people can know. He's no longer a factor anyway. But all it does is just hurt Hillsong even more. That's why you see all these docuseries coming out about them. And, you know, they come out and they condemn it. You know, and Dooley, I think himself even came out about a month ago on um, the newest Hillsong docuseries to come out to expose this church uh, for who they really are. Uh, And he tried to deny it and say that this isn't who we are and everything else like that. But look, at this point, you're just, you're, you're just, you're already been defeated at this point. You're disgraced. The Hillsong name is forever tarnished. In my opinion, it cannot be saved. Don't try to save the brand. What you should do, what these pastors, so-called pastors should be doing is working on saving themselves and repenting and truly turning. But if this is lifestyles that they live, I don't know if they have any desire, true desire to really live a life for Christ. I really don't. 
Um, it's sad. But look, we're here in the last days. Like, I'm going to put the full report down below if you guys want to read it uh, more in detail. You can feel free to do so. But we are in the last days. Jesus is coming back soon. If you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, uh, I love to lead you in this prayer right now to get you to accept Christ in your life. This is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top is to acknowledge that you are a sinner. Now that is something that we all are. Let me tell you the good news though. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and he rose again for you and me. He paid that cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles or habits. Like I mentioned earlier with these lifestyles, anything in your life that is not of the word of God. But if you go before the Lord, you humbly ask him to forgive you, he will wipe that sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it anymore. And then at that point, you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. The Bible says those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this, like I mentioned, for you guys down below. And you can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.